Power BI Content Packs allows you to connect to online data services so you can actually really bring your data to life as it says here on the Power BI screen. The content packs give you a series of pre-built reports and dashboards based on the data that's available. And there's content packs for many different things. There's content packs for Salesforce, for Microsoft Dynamics. There's content packs for Google An Analytics. There's content packs for GitHub. So let's have a look at Google Analytics and let's also have a look at MailChimp. It's extremely easy to use. Anybody can use it and anybody can use it for free. So if you want to get into business intelligence and looking at dashboards, this is a really, really good way to get started. So I'm going to sign into my Power BI account. And when I sign in, I am brought to the Get Data page. Now, anybody can register for a Power BI account for free. So everybody can actually use this to analyze their data. So when we have logged in, we have Welcome to Power BI and we have Content Packs. And if we select Get, it will give us a list of the content packs that are available. So there's Accounting Insights for Sage 50, there's Adobe Analytics, Application Analytics. You can see there's a whole suite of content packs for which you can use Google Analytics, GitHub, MailChimp. We're going to use the Google Analytics and the MailChimp one, but you can see Microsoft Dynamics is there, Mind Your Own Business Accounts is there, QuickBooks Online is there, Salesforce is there, Stripe is there, SQL databases are there, Spark Posts are there. There's a lot of stuff available where you can connect to your data source and you can use these predefined dashboards and reports. So the first one we're going to connect to is we are going to connect to Google Analytics. And when you click into it, it just gives you a little bit of details about it. And what we're going to do is select Get Now. Now, when you select Get Now, you need to actually connect. So you'll need to put your credentials in. And we're going to connect. We're going to just sign in. And it is asking me if I would like to sign in. So now it is signing me in and it's going to my Google Analytics and it's found all of the accounts that I have. So if I just go to the Professional Training Academy and I want to select one property and the property I'm going to select is the Excel Club and I want to view all the website data for the Excel Club and I can import. So that's me connecting just to one of my websites within all of the websites that I have available in my Google Analytics. Now you can connect to a number of them and you can mix the data up together. But one thing while this is importing, because it does actually take a couple of minutes the first time you connect, when you run reports in Power BI services using the connection, the reports so we can now view our data set or we can get quick insights. I'm going to run the insights first. You should always run the insights first so they'll notify us when it's ready. When you connect to these online services and you use the connector pack, what you're not able to do is you are not able to actually go to Power BI Desktop and download the file as a Power BI Desktop file and view it in Power BI Desktop. So that's one thing you're not able to do. You can, however, share the dashboards. You can pin items from the reports to the dashboards and you can work with them in the same way, really, as any other data set. So here we have my quick insights for Google Analytics. So we have our unique page views. We have a time series outlier. So we have page views, show shovel, so forth. We have exits. We have sessions page views and exits over a plot chart. We have, there seems to be a correlation between sessions and bounces. The We have a graph there on sessions. So we get a lot of information from the insights alone that you may not have actually just picked up from looking at the dashboards or the charts. So that's the first thing is the insights that you get. Now, for many of these insights, if you wanted to pin one particular one to a dashboard, you can click on this little button here to pin it to the dashboard. And I'll show you the dashboard now in a moment. 
So what this has done is this has now added a data set into your data sets. So if we go into Google Analytics, we are in our data set and over here we have all of the actual data. You can see all of the data over here in our fields. And then we have the calculations that have been carried out by whoever created this content pack for us. And these calculations are DAX calculations. And you can use any of these fields to create visualizations and you can create the visualizations using this visualization pane here. But we already have a series of visualizations created for us by the content pack. So we have the site's traffic for 90 days, and then we have the average session, the hits, the bounces, total sessions, the days of the week. We have another chart here. Down the bottom, then we have pages. So this report is spread over a number of pages. So we have the system usage, and we have reports there for device category, the browser, we have a map there showing details by map. We also get a total users report, so total users for the last 30 days, and we can see the total users in these charts. Now these charts are interactive with each other as well. So when you click on an item within the chart, all the other charts should automatically update. And if you click away in the white bar, it brings you back to the full chart view. Here's our page performance for 180 days. So our average page load time. So I seem to have a problem there on the 6th of January with my page load. And I also seem to have a small, tr we, I have some trouble since December with my redirection time. Then I can have a look at my top pages for the last 180 days. And this is sorted by the unique page views. You could also sort it by the entrance or the exits. We have our total page views here as well. So there are the reports that have been produced by this content pack. And as I said before, if you wanted to take the likes of this chart and pin it to a dashboard, you'd select pin to dashboard. It would ask you what dashboard you would pin it and you would then find it in the dashboard. But before we go amending the dashboard given to us by Google Analytics, let's have a quick look at the one that we have actually been given. So we've been given our site traffic, we've been given our average daily new users for the last 30 days, um, average daily users weekday, new user percentage growth hits by browser, sessions by days of the week. We've been given quite a lot of information in our dashboard. Now, if we, in our dashboard, click into one of these particular items, what it does is it brings you directly to the report, it jumps you down to the report that the visualizations originally came for, came from. So that's connecting to the Google Analytics content pack. Don't forget what you can do with this in the data set is you can create your own charts now because you have calculations in here. So you can create the, your own visualizations and you could add these visualizations to a dashboard or to a report. You don't have to just stick with the reports that have been given to you. So let's have a look now at connecting to MailChimp. To connect to MailChimp, we will go to get data and again, we will go to Content Pack Library and Services. And in here, we will find MailChimp and we will get it now. And we're now connecting to MailChimp. Now, what you're at being asked for here is to sign into your MailChimp account. So I'm just gonna sign in and the Power BI connector is now connecting and is importing the data for me. And it just says there, it could take a little while to import the data. Now, I've opened up straight here on our dashboard, but don't forget now we also have the reports and we have the data set. So we can have a look at our data set and over here on our fields list, we have all the fields of data that are available to us. We also have any calculations and measures are included in here, like we have this click rate calculation included in here. So we can create visualizations using this visualization pane. But if we go to our reports, we can see in our reports, a whole suite of reports has actually been created for us. Now what I'm gonna do is, because I have a number of lists 
I am going to edit this report and I just want to pull in the data for one of my lists. So if I go to my lists and in my lists, if I take name and I take name and put it into the report level filter, this is going to take the report and it's going to filter it by a particular list. So I want it just by my Excel club list so I can close that. And this report now has been filtered just by the campaigns for the Excel club. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So you can see with these tiles, you can move them around, you can resize them. So let's select a particular campaign and we can see how many emails were sent, how many were sent successfully, how many were opened, how many were clicked, how many unsubscribed, where the opens were just from that one particular campaign. Now that's the campaign overview. We can then go into our list overview and I've already filtered the whole report for just this list so I only have one list over here. So this report just relates to the list that I'm looking looking at and my average open rate for this li list is almost 35%. My last email was sent out on the 25th of January. My last unsubscribe was the same day. We have a campaign comparisons report so you can compare campaigns within this report so you can click on campaigns and you can have a look at the particular campaigns and to clear this filter and look at them all again we also have the list composition so this is member count by name we have the type of device that they're using we have then broken down by groups. If you have groups set up, you can see the groups within here. And if we go to our click analysis, we can then see the clicks on any links that we put into our email campaign. So I had two tips this week and they, these are the links and you can see the unique campaign URL link and then the total clicks. So you can see some people there clicked more than once on this particular link. By the way, before I forget to say it, if you are finding this video useful, please do give it the thumbs up and don't forget to like and share. You can also post any comments or feedback below the video and don't be afraid to share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. So after this, if you have automation set up in your MailChimp, you can see details of your automations here in your MailChimp. So that's very much a quick look around the reports. And the aim of this video is just so you can get familiar to see how quick it is to import data or to connect to data using Power BI services and their connector packs and know very, very little about Power BI or Power BI services to be able to get insights to your data that you wouldn't normally see very easily by looking at the reports available for you in Google Analytics or in MailChimp. So let's have a look at the dashboard that I am going to save the report. Let's have a look at the dashboard now. And the dashboard now is giving us details of all of our data. Now, if you click on any of these charts, you can go into focus mode for the particular chart. And then you can get insights once you have run your insights at the start. So you can get in more insights to each particular visualization that's available in your dashboard. So we have our list activity. So we can click into our list activity, bringing us into focus mode, and we can then run the insights on our list activity. So we can see from these insights that we have other ads, we have subscribers, and we've got loads of other data that's brought in from our other insights. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to show you the natural language in this lesson, but for some reason, it's not actually working for me today. So I'm gonna have to do it in another video tutorial. So that's it. That is the Power BI content packs. Oh yes, one last thing. If you're in an organization, you can create your own content packs. And if you click this little settings here, you have create content packs. And when you bring 
this in you can choose who you want to share it with give it a title a description and an image and then you can choose the dashboards that you want to share and you can publish it now i'm not going to actually do it because i haven't got anybody i want to share it with but that was just so you could see how to create your own content pack so go ahead now and connect to your Google Analytics. Have a look at the data, have a look at the insights that it's given you. And also connect to your MailChimp account and you may be able to create a dashboard containing data from both your MailChimp and your Google Analytics reports showing correlations between when emails are sent out and activity on your website. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Goodbye now.